Oh. <coughs> oh God. Wah, wah, dear. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Gabe's to here. This is the normal tank guide for Galacras, the fifth boss in Siege of Orgrimmar. And feel free to click on the annotations on screen if you want the full raid guide or any of the other videos for this fight. So let's get started. So as a tank, the basic goal of this fight is to either control the mobs in the pathway, if you're assigned to that group, or to control the mobs in the towers, if you're in that group. Uh, generally speaking, tanks that are better at area of effect damage will want to be down below, or that have better survival will want to be in the pathway. Uh, those with better cleave or single target damage will want to be in the tower. Uh, but other than that, the pathway is going to do more damage to you, whereas the tower requires more movement. So if you're tanking the pathway, the basic goal is to aggro everything that comes in before it reaches anyone else in the raid, and try to keep it away from the NPCs as much as possible. Now the NPCs will try to help you by casting Flame Strike and whatnot, so you can stand in that, and it will damage the mobs. Uh, but for the most part, you want to have control over everything, pretty much. Your DPS will try to prioritize the targets that matter, um, so it's just up to you to control everything and survive, pretty much. And that said, the mobs that are sort of lieutenants or mini-bosses that spawn down here are a little bit more dangerous and important. So this is the High Enforcer Thranok, who will use sort of a cleave attack um, that hits within a short radius, so you want to move out of that. And he'll also uh, use sort of a hook that pulls uh, players toward him, so again, watch for those two things. The other guy that's a lieutenant is Korgra the Snake, they use sort of a poison cloud attack. Uh, so obviously just sort of kite them in a small path so that the cloud doesn't really hit anyone else. And finally, on the pathway area, if you see bone crushers charge toward the NPCs, try to use a stun of some sort to interrupt their follow-up cast, which is fracture, so they don't kill the NPCs, and then just taunt them back to you after that. Now, on the other hand, if you're assigned to handle the tower tanking, uh, basically you want to watch the meter at the top of the screen when there's about 90% or so moving position to the next tower. The left tower always activates first, and then the right one is second. So if you're the tank, run up in front of everyone, up the tower, stairs, dragging everything with you. And then when you reach the top, make sure you get threat on the lieutenant or the mini boss that's at the top here. The basic idea is to stay in the center here with, with those creatures, while your DPS kill off the flame slingers that are on the sides. You can't really get threat on them, so don't even bother. Uh, the main thing to watch for up here is the cone attack used by the lieutenants. Uh, when this hits you, it'll knock you off the platform, so you need to sidestep it. By being close to the center, you can easily avoid this. Uh, of course, being in melee as a tank is no problem. In some cases, you'll be stunned, as you saw there, which, which happened to me in the tank. And this is from the Demolisher that's on the pathway. Every time it shoots the tower, it will stun players up there for a moment. So just do your best to sidestep often so that that cone doesn't hit you if you get stunned. Lastly, once all the creatures in the tower are destroyed, as the tank, you'll probably be assigned to remain up there and handle the gun. So once the gun is activated after the creatures are killed, you basically just shoot the drakes that are around you as much as possible. By shooting them, you'll reduce the damage that the rest of the raid will, will take. And you're not really needed to help tank down below, uh, so the only need, timing you should leave the gun is once the second tower is about to activate. Once the second tower mobs are destroyed, uh, and you as the tank hop in the gun again, you'll need to have one member of your tower team go up to the first tower as well and activate the gun there. Then simultaneously, both you and the other player in the gun should shoot Galacras at the same time, and this will cause her to come down and phase two will begin. So for phase two against Galacras, uh, as a tank, you really don't have to do a whole lot. Just tank her like you, and you would any normal boss. Um, the actual video footage shows a different strategy than what you see in the diagram there. Our video, we just tried something and it didn't really work, but the diagram shows a legitimate strategy. So as a tank, you don't have to really interact with any of the abilities in this phase. 
So you'd just be standing on the blue marker with the boss at red, and the rest of the raid is stacked up behind her at the orange. So as a tank, really all you have to do is just tank the boss like you would any other thing, and use your cooldowns as the AE damage gets higher and higher. And that is it. So that's Normal Tank Guide for Galacrass. As always, good luck, and thanks for watching.